Hey guys, so we have an in-depth comparison here between the iPhone SE and the iPhone X. And during this video, you're going to see two years of Apple improvements in the speakers, camera speed, and more. And I have to say, despite the iPhone SE being a couple years old, it's still amazingly fast. One of the fastest phones out there. Uh, and even has a few advantages over the iPhone X, I'll discuss in a second. But as you guys see, the iPhone X first one to boot up. And now the SC up as well. Alright guys, so we've watched a different testing plan for this video and next up let's go over the specs. Now the iPhone 10 is of course Apple's best iPhone to date, brand new. Whereas the iPhone SC about a year and a half old at this point. And the specs in it are pretty similar to the iPhone success, just a smaller version of it. Now the screen on the iPhone 10 obviously much improved over the SC. On the 10 you have an OLED bezel screen display versus LCD for the SC. And the iPhone 10 5.8 inches, 458 pixels per inch. Versus 4.0 inches, 306 pixels per inch. Now the front facing cam on the SC is 1.2 MP, whereas on the iPhone 10 it's 7. And on the back the SC is 1 camera 12 MP. And on the iPhone 10 you have 2 cameras, both of them are 12 MP as well. Although they are better cameras than the one on the SC. And we'll be showing you guys front and rear facing camera comparisons later in the video. Internally you get either 16 or 64 GB on the SC. And either 64 or 256 on the 10. Battery size on the SC is 1624 versus 2716 on the 10. The SC has the A9 chipset and 2GB RAM, and the 10 has the A11 chipset and 3GB RAM. The 10 is waterproof, IP67, while the SC is not. Looking at the bottom, both phones have lightning ports, and you do have a headphone jack on the SC, whereas on the 10 you don't have one. And look around the edges as well. On the back, you have a metal build on the SC versus glass on the 10. And one thing the SE does have the iPhone 10 is not is a fingerprint scanner right here on the front. And of course the iPhone SE is much much cheaper than the iPhone 10, so a huge selling point here for the SE. Alright guys, let's continue with the rest of the test now. So everything closed out on both and getting started with apps and games opening. First up we have NBC. And about a second advantage there for the uh, iPhone 10, Spotify. Again, pretty similar there. You do. And wow, that one actually a bit faster on the SC, so that's pretty surprising to see. eBay. Pretty close there. iFunny next. Yeah guys, that was still pretty close. Amazon. So obviously the 10 winning most of these, but again, pretty close results. And the iPhone SE just about half a second behind there. Photos. Okay guys, now there should be a bigger gap here for these four games. Uh, first will be a Temperanto. So the A9 versus A11. Wow, this one actually very, very close. Yeah, this is about half a second win there for the iPhone 10. Next up we have Subway Surfers. And this one a few seconds. So a couple more Mario Run. So to 10 by a couple seconds. And final uh, final game here in Ash 40. So about uh, three second bands there for the uh, iPhone 10. Next up, let's take a look at them too. So obviously we have a much higher score on the iPhone 10, 228,000 versus 122, but this will be most noticeable in high-end games, things like that. 
Not so much day to day use. Silent Partner 7 4 Tango. Now the speaker test is one area I expect the iPhone 10 to do a lot better than the SE. On a 10 you have two speakers on it in better quality, whereas on the SE you only have one. Oh and thanks to Cyrus in the comment section for recommending this song. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations please let me know and you may use it. So first up we have the SE. And now 10. That's right guys, finger, uh, finger dance is back. Next up we have the SC again. And one last time around the SC. But clearly guys, no contest here, easily going to attend for this test. And final time on the 10. So next up we have a fingerprint scanner comparison uh, and of course on the iPhone 10 you don't have a fingerprint scanner on it. So we're going to compare Face ID versus the uh, fingerprint scanner on the SE. Now in order for Face ID to work what you have to do is either raise your phone like this so the screen turns on or you can press the wake button on the side. And then after that you have to swipe up like this and then look at it. So really I mean it depends on how you're doing it. If you're doing it like this, let's say if you have to first hit the wake button and then you have to swipe up. It should be a lot faster on the SE. And actually guys, I think that the following method may be the best way to do this and probably I'll do it in the future. I'll just raise the wake and then unlock it. But of course on the SE you can have your fingerprint, uh, you can have your hand on it on the fingerprint scanner. So let's go ahead and try this out. So overall guys, I much, much prefer the payment scanner to Face ID. Uh, I may still have to get used to it, but overall, really no contest here, at least for me personally. And this time I won't have my fingerprint on it, just to raise the wake and then do it. So yeah, I mean, if you do it that way, maybe a bit faster than on the iPhone 10. But overall guys, I think in most uses will be faster on the SE. So next up we have Safari and all the web history cleared. And first up we have IGN. So keep in mind, yes, so you do have a low resolution, uh, but this one's still going near to the 10. Next up we have INDB. And again, we have the 10 here. Couple more next up Zelda. Very similar there on both. And final one is Apple. Apple.com. And again, a bit faster on the 10, so um, web browsing does go to the 10, but not a huge advantage for it. Next up we have multitasking app, this we have the camera test. 
Um, but despite the SE being a couple years old, only two gigabytes of RAM, it's still amazing at the multitasking. And bringing up Super Mario Run first. So as you guys see, this actually is retained in memory, whereas most phones would reload that. Going back towards the beginning, it was Spotify. Excellent. And next up, Ashfold 8. So again, guys, Ashfold 8 is one of those apps that 99% of phones really load it. Next up, NBC. And this one generally takes a couple of seconds to refresh on the iPhone. So this one going here to the 10. Next up, iFunny. I think that actually may have been a slight advance here for the SC. Temperanto. And there's a couple more with Amazon. Excellent. Subway Surfers. Again, amazing job here on both. And final one was your Safari. Excellent. Next up, we have a few different camera tests. I'm going to bring in Bulbasaur here to focus. It's been a while actually since I brought in Bulbasaur for these. And first up, we're going to be testing out the speed. And it's actually pretty surprising. Looks like the SE is actually a bit faster here. Although sometimes a bit faster on the iPhone 10. Now, of course, guys, the uh, lens on the iPhone 10 is a bit more advanced, but still very, very impressive here for the SE. Incredibly fast performance. And next up, we have a quick comparison of the front facing cameras on both phones. Again, on the iPhone SE, it's 1.2 MP, and on the iPhone 10, it's 7. So it should be a lot improved on the iPhone 10, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. And next up, we have a quick comparison of the front facing cameras on both phones. Again, on the iPhone SE, it's 1.2 MP, and on the iPhone 10, it's 7. So it should be a lot improved on the iPhone 10, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hey guys, we have a comparison of the rear facing cameras on the iPhone SE and 10. And there's nothing to stabilization. And then here's a look at the maximum zoom on both phones. Alright everyone, so overall obviously the 10 did win the big majority of these tests. But I have to say I'm very very impressed with the iPhone SE. Uh, the speed test, the multitasking did an amazing job at that. And obviously guys, part of the reason is because it is a low resolution screen on it. Uh, so less pixels to push. But regardless, amazing job everybody has seen for a phone that's a year and a half old. Uh, in a lot of areas, nearly as good as a 10. And of course, keep in mind the SE is a fraction of the price versus the 10. So press the button in the middle there to subscribe for more videos in the future because we have lots and lots and lots more videos planned for both these phones. Or if you want to watch another video right now, you can press it in the top left or the top right corners. And as always, thanks for watching.